Joining us now from his headquarters here in New York City is Donald Trump. Would you take any of that back or rephrase any of it if you could? No, because it's totally accurate, and you should have let it play a little bit longer because it really covers it actually even a little bit better, but it's totally accurate. The border is a disaster, Bill. People are pouring in, and I mean illegal people, illegal immigrants, and they're pouring in. Uh, 300 and some odd thousand are in your state jails right now, according to Homeland Security. I have the report right here, Homeland Security. Over 300,000 are in between the state and federal uh, jails and penitentiaries. In terms of rape, this is an amazing statistic. 80% of Central American women and girls are raped crossing into the U.S. Now, 80%. It's hard to believe even. This was written by Fusion. You know who Fusion is? It's owned by Univision. It was also put out by Huffington Post. So Huffington Post and Fusion, 80% of Central American women and girls are raped coming into the United States crossing the border. So, you know, if people say, oh, would you change it? Absolutely, I can't change it. I love Mexican people. I have a tremendous relationship. I also respect Mexico, but Mexico is doing a tremendous number against the United States. What they're doing to us in trade, first of all, they're killing us at the border. Second of all, Bill, what they're doing to us in trade is unbelievable. They're taking our jobs, they're taking our manufacturing, and they're taking our money. And now, I'm not angry at Mexico. Because, frankly, their representatives and leaders are smarter than ours. I'm angry at our country for having such bad negotiators and such bad leaders. Why do you think NBC pulled the plug on your beauty pageants? You had already resigned from the Celebrity Apprentice. Uh, why do you think they don't want to do business with you anymore? Well, they were very angry at me because I wanted to run for president, and I told them I'd be running. And as you know, last season was a big season. The Apprentice has been an amazing success. We had very good ratings last season, and they were not happy when I said, I'm running. And then what happened is they said, all right, well, you'll run, and when you're ready, come see us, but I hope it's soon. And, you know, they renewed The Apprentice. I mean, they went out and they renewed it. And what happened is the other day I went up to number two in the poll, so they see they're not going to be getting me. And then they'd have people complaining about my rhetoric. Now, I've had the same rhetoric for years. You know that. I've been fighting border security, and I've been fighting trade. More than anybody else, I fight trade. And not only with Mexico, with China, right, but, but, but with you, everybody. But why now? Why now? All right, they don't have you as a talent. Okay. Um, but they could still do business with you, and if you don't, prevail in the presidential race, you could come back, not now, um, because they've, they've sacked you. So I'm not understanding why they did it. Do you, did they say to you why they did it? To say, hey, Donald, this is why we're letting they, you go? They really, I don't even think they know themselves. I think they're weak, and I think they're afraid of Did you talk to anybody the over the there about that? Did, did any executive? Yes, I did. Who'd you talk Top to? Top people. Who? They called me. I don't want to say. Come on. Top people. I don't want to say. It'll come out. It'll come out in litigation. In fact, speaking of litigation, I just sued Univision for $500 million. It was just filed. The papers were just filed. So that'll be interesting to see how that, because Univision, I have a signed contract for five years on the pageants. They have no right to terminate, and they terminated, and they didn't even send me a letter. They terminated with a PR statement. So they called me also, and one of the top people at Univision so apologetic. Donald, we shouldn't be doing this. I know that. It's, we'll pay you whatever money you need or whatever money you want. They have a five-year contract without termination, and they terminated with a PR statement. So we just sued them for $500 million. And I'll tell you something what's really sad, both on behalf of NBC and also Univision. We have 50 of the most lovely women you've ever seen right now in Louisiana, and they have been abandoned by NBC and abandoned by Univision. And I'm going to work it out so that that show goes on. But they have been totally abandoned. Their parents are there. Their families are there. These are fabulous young women. And NBC didn't even think about that when they did it. And I told them, I said, how can you do this to these wonderful women? I mean, they're young women. And they have been crushed. And I will tell you, it's a very sad thing. They could have put this on. So we are going right. to have the pageant Last anyway. Last question. Do you believe there is an anti-conservative bias at NBC? You've worked for them a long time. 
Absolutely. You have Sleepy Eyes Chuck Todd, who does Meet the Press, which is failing in the ratings. You have all sorts of bias. MSNBC, nobody watches it, but it's a total disaster in terms of bias. I mean, you absolutely have a tremendous bias. So much so that I told my daughter, my daughter came up to me, Ivanka. She said, Dad, what do you think? I said, well, I'd love you to be a conservative Republican, but in terms of your life, it's a lot easier to be a Democrat who happens to be liberal. Because I will tell you, you can go through life a lot easier. We have to fight like hell, but we're going to make the country right. great again. And if I get elected, I'll make this country great again, Bill. And okay. we're right on the border. Donald Trump, thank you very much.